Hey everybody, welcome back to beautiful rainy Juno. It's very rainy and cold right now, but the shoulder's doing better. Uh, I think I can keep working on this cleaver right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by grinding in the bevels a little bit, just because I want my edge thickness to be a little bit thinner than it is right now. This being W1, it has a tendency to not harden all the way through if it's quenched at full thickness. So I'm going to take it to the grinder, grind a little off here, and then I can throw it into the oven, get it hardened up, tempered, and then we can move on. Thanks for being here. I'm glad to be back home. And knives. Halloween is coming up, as in tomorrow.
Well, everybody, I worked all night last night, and this cleaver is done, and it is brutal and menacing. I baked that oil onto the blade, and that left like a nice reddish finish that really does just look like caked blood. So this cleaver just looks like it's had hundreds of victims over the years, and by no means a polished out piece. It's got scratches everywhere and whatever, but who cares? That's kind of not the point of this piece. It's just a brutal, gnarly thing you could hack someone to pieces with if you were so inclined. Not that I would ever. This is a super fun build. I'm glad I finished it out for Halloween. That being said, it is Halloween. It's not really Halloween unless you scare some children. So good luck. Have fun. Make bad decisions. And I'll see you on the next video. Hey Siri, what's the best way to bury a body?